the Minister for Information and National Guidance, Judith Nabakoba, wants the public to continue observing COVID-19 SOPs and also to embrace vaccination against COVID-19. If you take into consideration all other categories, categories such as medical people, security, teachers, social worker, the high-risk groups, the number might grow up to 21 million. However, less than 10% have shown up for the vaccination ever since the exercise started a month ago. His Excellency the President made it very clear that we have to vaccinate up to 80% of the risk categories before opening up fully as a country. Nabakoba maintains that relaxation and revision of the COVID-19 SOPs will depend on the vaccination compliance. Of late, so many people have been calling upon government to suspend the curfew hours. However, we now know that suspension of the curfew is going to depend on how quickly we show up for vaccination. I therefore call upon all those in the categories defined by government to show up and get vaccinated. As to whether some of the COVID-19 SOPs have turned political, Nawakoba refers to such allegations as cheap talk. Curfew is not political. Oh. I told you from the White Book that curfew helps us as government to implement the SOPs. Because a lot happens at night. And we believe it can be very difficult, all a night mayor, for the SOPs to be enforced fully. So that's why we are saying if we all go for the vaccination, then it will enable government to remove most of those restrictions. Government is now drumming up the private sector to champion the vaccination awareness campaign across the country. The job of mobilizing and educating the people about vaccination should not be left alone to government. All private sector players, including artists, religious leaders, all the different categories, they need to come out now and use their spaces, calling upon the public to participate fully in the vaccination exercise. Nabakoba says government will not be moved by what it terms as speculations about the reported U.S. travel sanctions against government top officials. The minister says it will be until information goes through formal and diplomatic channels for satisfactory communication to be received. Robert Onyango, UBC News, Kampala.